Hello, friends. Happy New Year. <laughs> Today we will solve the case smallest in lexicographic order. This will be the last question we solve in the year of 2020. Given integers n and k, find the lexicographically a a case smallest integer in the range from one to n. For example, if the input n is a uh, 13 and uh, case 2 we we know that the candidates is 1 10 uh, 1 2 13 and then we sort uh, these integers into a lexicographic order and finally we find the second smallest number which is 10 should we generate older candidates numbers no need if we sort them we need extra space and uh, we need to uh, generate them so th the time complexity will be larger in this case we only need to calculate uh, uh, how many nodes we can simply return the final result quickly let's see how to do that we should uh, figure out that uh, uh, what does it mean the by the lexicographic order? That means why this 10 is uh, before this 2? Because 1 is smaller than 2. So 1 whatever is should be uh, before in uh, come first than the 2. It's just like a dictionary. What that matter is the first different uh, characters. 1 is less than 2. So 10 is less than 2. So OK. It's kind of like uh, we first uh, to try to get the first uh, character. The range is from 1 to 9. And uh, for the 1, uh, because the largest number is 13, and uh, we only have 9 numbers here. So we will try to uh, generate uh, two, uh, the numbers which has 2 characters then we have 10 11 12 because we can try to append 10 characters here so uh, the range is 10 to uh, 19 but uh, we do not need uh, uh, that much because the largest is 13 so we only need uh, two numbers here so that is the uh, candidate range and then we need to uh, get the second, actually is the index one, right? Mm. This is the uh, first, first one, and this is the second one. It's kind of like the pre-order traversal, because we want to uh, know which level we are. And uh, we just uh, do the pre-order traversal. This is the first one, second one. This is the third one, first one, and so on and so forth. But we do not need to do a explicit uh, pre-order traversal. We just need to calculate the nodes. But how do we decide which level are we? Let's see another example. If the n is 123, and we also need to <coughs> want to find the second uh, smallest number well this part is also one two and the one is uh, smaller than the 123 so we keep uh, that first search and then we get uh, 10 to 19 right we we have actually we have 10 more numbers here but 19 is still smaller than 123 so we keep do the that first search and then the range becomes 100 to 199, which is uh, larger than the n. So we only need uh, 24 numbers here. How do we get this 24? Well, in this part, we can 10 nodes, right? 100 to 109. And in this part, we also have 10 nodes from 110 to 119. Uh, this part we only need uh, four, uh, one hundred uh, 
twenty one hundred to twenty three. So this part we have twenty four, and this part we have、uh, ten nodes. This part we have one node. So in total, we count thirty five nodes, and thirty five is a.、Uh, uh, You know that it's、uh, greater than two, so we know the result is in this subtree. We do not need to go to the subtree two or subtree three or subtree nine. So here's the thing: we first need to decide、uh, which level should we go, and then we decide、uh, should we go to.、Uh, we know in the subtree, and、uh, we know, for example, we know it's in this level. Should we go to the next?、Uh, A node. So here's the thing. Maybe let's write the code first. So you will understand the logic well. The key idea is to calculate the count. We count the nodes. Do not need to get an explicit preorder traversal. The the curve is equal to one because the first one is one, and we let k minus one because. Uh, actually, the index is not equal to the index. For example, the two, the index is one, right? Zero, one, two. So we minus one. Okay. Only while this k greater than zero, we do something. And finally, we just return this curve. If this k equal to one, we just return this curve, which is one, because one is the smallest one. Okay. We will call. A、function code count nodes, and we get the nodes. And、uh, if this case great or equal than nodes,、uh, that means we should go to the next、uh, subtree because we count、uh, all the nodes in this subtree. It cannot fail the requirement. We should go to the next、uh, subtree. So that means the curve should、uh, uh, increase by one, and the k minus the nodes. So, for example, this part cannot fill the requirement, so we go to this part. So the curve will increment by one. If not the case, that means we we find it is in this subtree. But the problem is that we need to count one by one, right? So if we go depths, so the curve should times ten, because this is one, this is ten, and this is a、uh, one hundred. So the k minus minus. Decrement by one because we already count one, right? Okay. Now let's write the count nodes. We parse long n and a long curve. Why? Because we always do the、uh, multiple by time、uh, by ten, so it it will be easier to do、uh, to cause integer overflow. So we just、uh, convert it to long, but in the end, do not forget to convert it to in int. Okay, we call it turtle. So at first it is to equal to zero, and finally we return this turtle. Let's call it. We need the next y. The next、uh, at the beginning equal to cur. Uh, sorry, cur plus one, because in this part we know this at most have ten nodes because the next uh, is uh twenty minus ten. Uh, the cur times ten equal to ten. And the next equal to twenty, and、uh, this part, the we have one hundred, and the、uh, the next will also times ten, so it equal to two hundred. So we know in this part, uh, at most they have one hundred nodes. So that's the use we want to get、uh, how many、uh, nodes at most、uh, in this level. Okay, so while this curve less or equal than n. We do this part. The turtle will、uh, accumulate this mass minimum. One is the n minus curve plus one. One is next minus curve.、Uh, this part is n, right? Is one hundred and twenty-three, and this part is curve. Is current one hundred and plus one. And this is twenty-four, so we use the twenty-four. And this one hundred is next is two hundred minus one hundred. Actually, it's one hundred. Okay. So then the curve will times ten, and next will also times ten. 
we go to next step. So it just uh, uh, go depth. Okay, we fill this part. That will be an and cur. Uh, sorry, this part should also convert to int. So for this problem, um, so for this problem, uh, one thing that you know that uh, is the integer overflow problem, and the uh, other thing is we just need to calculate the nodes. No need to uh, do the real pre uh, pre order traversal. Okay. Thank you for watching. See you next time. See you next year.